all of you hope you guys are great my name is Paul Anderson. so let me show you that how you can download this portfolio website template and how you can edit all the content on this demo website and make it your own so you already know that how important portfolio website is going to be for yourself that's why you are watching this video so i don't want to elaborate on that that so let me show you that how you can download it so to download the template all you have to do open a new tab and type dollar hussain d-a-u-l-a-t-h-u-s-s-a-n hussain and this is my website here i provide all the resources so if you want you can download it so click on the very first link and here you will come to my website and here i have highlighted everything that what i do so if you want to listen podcast coding nutrition marketing you can just check these all things so to download the template all you have to do is simply click on this block section so let me scroll it down and as you can see that this is the article which i have written on this template here i have provided all the resources about this templates all the files you can easily get it so if you are watching this video after six months or a year you will literally find this template somewhere down so simply scroll all the way down and just keep scrolling and you can find it from there. So recently I have made this Pac-Man game, JavaScript, Countdown Timers, Moving Particles. So if you are interested, you can download these templates and you can check these templates as well. So to get the template, all you have to do is simply click on this post. So to download the template, all you have to do is simply click on this download source code and you will come here and click on this download source code button. Once you click on this, you will download the file. Here as you can see that I have already downloaded this file. So simply once you download the file, simply extract this file and let me click on this extract replace the old one because i have already have this file so here you will find all the files of this website template so this is the file which we are interested in just click on this extract this one click on the extract and just wait replace the old destination and here you are so click on this after just click on this and open into a visual code studio no matter what code editor you are using so just click on this and I'm just click on this. Here you are in my code editor and the code editor I'm going to use for editing this portfolio template is Visual Code Studio. You can literally pick anyone. There are tons of in the market. So once you download the file, unzip and open in your code editor, these are the file structure you will find. So let me take you through this file structure. Then I will explain you that how you can do the editing, whatever templates you choose among these five. On the left hand side, you can able to find all the folders and files of this portfolio website. So here is the CSS part. If you want to do any customization in the color or any styling you can do it from here just open this folder and from here you can able to find everything so like colors first primary color this one is the secondary color this one is the third color and this one is the fourth color and this one is the main css page from here you can do the changes in the spacing margin you can increase the size of the image you can increase the increase or decrease the container size you can do that all from here whatever templates you pick from here and inside this you will find another folder by the name plugins and inside this as you can see they have used some extra libraries like they have used boost traps they have used fancy box for popping up the box and they are using the swiper dot min dot css for having a cursor slider so these are the plugins they have used you don't need to do any changes in that because these are the external libraries just make just leave it as it is just focus on the HTML part and the CSS part if you want to bring any customization. But what is my recommendation is that just leave it as it is. If you all the CSS you can control from this folder and here are the some text, some images. You don't need to worry about it. Just leave it as it is. So these are the creator template who have created this portfolio website template. And here you can able to find all the images which they have used on this portfolio website. So if I come here, if I open the block section, so here you can see that here we have a three demo block page block two block three and this one is a block one so all the images they have stored right up here so you can put your images here and i will show you that how you can change the images as well just watch the video to here you can put your images here and for the testimonials they have this and for the work like they have this original size and thumbnail so everything is fully organized you can simply put the kind of image you want in this section and give the similar name and that will automatically appear on your website you don't need to do the changes in the html part here you will find all the javascript file and here they have used couple of plugins for animation for fancy box jQueries, over a scroll to change the block you can do it from here you can do the con change the content from here from the block if you want to change the content for the other portfolio templates like there are total files you can do the changes in that so it's literally you can find everything find a say copy the text the text you want to change come back here and do it from here and if you want if you have a little bit of knowledge about the css on javascript you can modify in these file also and this is what i have found long back ago so i thought let's share with you all hope you have liked this video if you have any questions any doubts regarding anything web developer or if you want that i should make any special video on any particular topic do leave in the comment section i would love to help you in that so download the file it's totally up to you guys and 
and it's very important to have your own portfolio website this is how you can display your creativity whatever work you have done in the past so hope this tutorial is valuable if you have any question do leave in the comment section i would love to help with that have a wonderful